called Jack Chan. Yeah, yeah. Jackie yeah. Stan Stan team. Yeah, yeah. they're great. Great. Yeah. 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 And they work with different techniques. Yeah. yeah. The Western, some yeah. Asian, yeah. Yeah. and they use. Yeah. yeah. Very, uh, very but, but I'm interested in doing martial arts movies. I mean, when I was when I was young, I did uh, a lot of judo, so uh, I think it helped me not break any bones. It's good at falling, but um, I don't know. Yeah, you know, a little fighting would be good. Watch, watch it. Yeah. Uh, I, I read that you said this movie was going to be better than T2. So, so what what change? Well, first of all, if we did Transformers 2, we had a writer's strike. Where writers are on strike, yeah. and we they, they were under pressure to write a script very quickly. So it's a bad way to make a movie. The movie did really well, but I knew we could do better. And I think this movie we had, we didn't have a strike. We had a, a, a really cool story, uh, something that had a lot of history to it. And um, I love the slow build of it. I love the intrigue, and I just love this epic. Uh, it's uh, some action. That's not a lot of action. But I can only just see some really up and over the you're a very technical guy, and it shows in, in every frame. So, how do you do? How do you get along in terms of the technical and storyline, and yeah. not be, you know, brown by the technical the stuff? The thing is, the thing is, when you create a movie, you live with it in your head. So you know how you have to settle down for your story, you know, and that when you know when you want to take the viewer on a wild ride, you know, it's like that's where it's game time, baby. <laughs> So, so, so I do crazy things, you know, yeah. the guys, the guys that fly with the wingsuits, yeah. you know, uh, is that the real? Thing? That's real, that's yes. real, and what it is, they, they have a parachute on their back, they have wings here, wings here for the viewers who don't know, it's, uh, yeah. and they, they, uh, they jump off, they, they go like this, and for every foot they fall, they go two feet forward, mm. so you actually fly about 150 miles an hour, and yeah. they can turn, and they're very nimble, and we could be in Chicago, which is crazy, to fly a mile through the city between buildings. Have you tried one in your phone? No way. No <laughs> way. These are world experts. This is like, this is death-defying stuff. Okay? This is, uh, I mean, there are only like five or six people who do this in the world. Yeah? Yeah. And, and in, in terms of, uh, of this type of movie, uh, what do you think that draws too much audience with us? Despite the credit, you know, the critics, it's huge success. Yeah. So listen, you know what? The critics are always looking on that. And uh, it's like sometimes you're just out of touch with the viewers. And this just it's just uh, I think it's weird, it's got a long lineage. It's twenty five years of history of Transformers and fans are around the world. Uh, uh, here in China they put Transformer logos on the Mercedes, replacing the Mercedes up. I mean it's just it, it just it's fun to work on a franchise like that, but uh, as Jim Cameron told me, he said, I saw these movies in the theater, he says, he says, but I didn't understand these movies until I saw them with two kids back to back. He says, this is like kids stalling. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. That was a really good compliment. Yeah, I saw that the, your, your conversation with Jim Cameron about the technology. Yeah. So do you think that we're heading that way, making 3D cameras smaller? Yeah, it, it, they need to be smaller. I, I, and it's true, I was kind of caught, because they are getting smaller as we go. And not everything is right for 3D. I mean, this movie, and I said to my crew before we did it, so many movies have done 3D poorly. I said, we have to do the best 3D out there. And uh, I think we accomplished that. Uh, but it's not to say that we're still not going to have 2D movies. You know, it was the right thing. You have to compromise uh, anything in your movie because of the... Yeah, a little bit. Well, it's interesting. You slow your style down a bit. You know, more wide shots, things that go through things and just can really give you more 3D feel. You know, your camera discovers shots. I've got like some shots in there that are 45 seconds long. Mm -hmm. You know, falling out of a building, falling yeah. with somebody. It's, it's, that's, that's a new one for you. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> and have you, have you watched other 3D really movies that you say, oh, I really like this movie? I've been pretty unimpressed uh, 3D. Every movie except that one. Yeah? Yeah. So what do you, what's the difference between them? I think because either the directors or the studio sometimes makes you, oh, let's just make it in 3D. We designed this movie in 3D. We shot it in 3D. And this is the first real live action. Pirate shot 3D, 
But I don't know if they designed the movie or not. We designed this movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm covering more people. I was looking forward to meeting you in Spike Boys, like, like in Boston. Oh, good. Yeah.